indulging my dance break. I needed that today. Coronavirus! Coronavirus! Oh my gosh. Is anyone else going crazy? I think I might be. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back for episode three of the Art Mashup with Mr. Copas. Yay! Uh, so, today we're going to be talking about our next steps. So, first we did eight watercolor techniques, and then I had you guys do some sketching in your sketchbooks. And then I asked you to blow up one of those sketches onto a large piece of paper. So I found my large piece of paper down at the local food store. They had some big pieces of uh, whiteboard, so I folded mine in half. I cut it off later, but um, I have my sketch done. You can kind of see here, very light. Um, but the next step now, after you get this laid out, this is the most important step. This, to me, is a step that's really going to um, elevate this project from just being a drawing about uh, COVID-19 to an actual artistic experience. So here we go, children. Listen. All right. Yeah. What we're going to do is we are going to take our feelings, the pathos. We're going to take all those emotions and we're going to put them into our sketchbook. But instead of drawing, we're actually going to do some writing. What? Oh, well, yes, some writing. Um, artistic um, inspiration can come from anywhere. And one of the things I really like to see in art is when you see kind of um, unexpected uh, connections with the visual arts with other things. So with writing, um, back in college, um, I had a really great course about um, creative writing and they had us read a book called Writing Down the Bones. And I can't remember the author right now, but I'll put it in the description in case you want to find it on Amazon. But it was a really great book. And basically it was going through these different writing experiences or writing exercises. And one of them was free writing. So we're going to use this idea in our sketchbooks. And free writing is kind of like a, a stream of consciousness while you write. So take out all the rules. Don't worry about grammar. Don't worry about punctuation, capitalization, all that stuff. Who cares? That's not important. What's important is getting the words or thoughts in your head into your sketchbook. So what I'm going to have you do is we are going to do three prompts in our sketchbook. First prompt, prompt number one, how are you feeling? Write that down. How are you feeling? feeling. That's the first prompt. Prompt number two. Yes, yes, yes. Prompt number two is, are you enjoying the quarantine? Are you in enjoying the quarantine? And number three, Will things ever go back to normal? Go back to normal. 
All right, so you got these three prompts. What I want you to do right now then is you're gonna take off this, well, go up, and when you get off this video, I want you to get your trusty phone. I want you to find the timer. And you're gonna write, or you're gonna time yourself here. I'm gonna give you five minutes for each one. You're gonna start a timer. Take your first prompt. How are you feeling? And I just want you to start writing. Write whatever comes in to your brain. Don't, um, don't edit. If bunny rabbit pops into your head, write bunny rabbit. Whatever pops into your head, it's a stream of consciousness. Whatever you start thinking after you hear that question, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Oh my God, this is crazy. I can't believe this. I'm looking at a piece of paper. Whatever comes into your mind, you write down into your sketchbook for five minutes. Now, it's tough, right? Because your brain probably acts or works a lot quicker than your hand, hopefully. <laughs> but try and get everything down, okay? And you do that with each prompt. When you're done, hopefully you should have at least, I'm hoping, three pages, if not more, in your sketchbook of just writing. And it can be anything, really. It's whatever pops in your head after you read that prompt. Why are we doing this? One, it's a really great exercise just to, to get the creative juices flying, to get those thoughts out of your head on the paper. And then number two, we're actually gonna use this writing in your project. So when you're done, what I would like you to do is to use the writing that you made in your sketchbook. You're gonna use that to outline every shape in your project. So for that, you're going to need a fine tip permanent marker, right? Um, Sharpie is great. Anything that's permanent, not any, not any water-based markers because they'll bleed. Um, and you want a fine tip because you want the words to be really small. And I'll show you that in the next video, how you're going to put that on there and then how you're going to put, uh, apply our six watercolor techniques on top of it. But before we get there, we need some writing. We need you to write down the bones. We need to write down your thoughts, get all these thoughts and feelings into your sketchbook, and then we're going to move them over to here. This is a short video today, but uh, I really miss you guys, and I hope you're staying sane. I'm trying to. Um, so if you indulge me, let's do one more dance before we go. Um, I really like, what song do we like? What song do we like? How about something school appropriate? <laughs> Looking all, oh, no, 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 no. How about, yeah, 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 here we go. Fashion week, here we go. If I make a candle turn out, I'm gonna be a gentleman to up. Gotcha. Give me a joint next, you never gonna finish in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Body on fire, baby, can I say? Oh. That body, baby, on a sick day.